in the <coughs> previous tutorial we talked about the data encryption standard where the key size was basically 64 bit and we talked about that the data encryption standard wasn't that much secure form of encryption mechanism and the advanced encryption service provider was provided later which basically encrypts the data uh, and this is a 256 bits encryption type and this is the most secure one now in this tutorial we will be uh, discussing how we can implement the advanced encryption standard this is the previous code which we have written and where you have seen that we have first created the object of the DS crypto service provider and afterwards we have specified the key size the block size and then we said that we need a memory stream where it holds the encrypted form of data and then afterwards we have uh, used the stream writer also we used the crypto stream before the stream writer to encrypt the bytes for us and then we stored these information in the final encryption and return it to the user okay the in the same case we also turn the description decryption by using the same process but here we use the create decryptor and we change the mod from write to read and instead of the stream writer class we use the stream reader and we also provided the memory stream from this encrypted text at first we didn't knew what would be the memory stream and here we knew that the memory stream is in the form of the encrypted text which will be in the form of a bytes and we will convert this into a readable format and we'll store it in the final decryption object and we will return it to the user so how we can modify this code to so this code is basically convert to the advanced encryption so the first thing which I'm going to do here is I will just change uh, the DES to the AES I will just use this process it will replace this for me this is the very beginner step here now what I'm going to do here is in the next step I will change this key size from 64 bit to 256 and the IV bytes from 64 bit to 1 to 8 okay so here we have uh, 8 characters we are going to convert it to like Thirty two and thirty two into eight comes out to be sixty uh, two fifty six. So we will be needing thirty two characters. These are eight. I will just copy it one time, so it's come out to be sixteen. And I will copy this again, so it comes out to be. 256 bit key. Also, the IV bytes we will be needing this to 
to be 128 so 16 into 8 comes out to be 128 so I will just copy and paste this again so it comes out to be 16 bit and 16 characters and it comes out to be 128 bit high okay now here the key size is 256 and the block size is 128 also I will ch make changes here and here I will be using the AES crypto service provider copy it and paste it and the rest is the same also I will copy this here and I will paste it here and the rest is same I'll just run it let's see if I get some errors no this is the advanced encryption service where our key size has been changed from 64 bits to 256 bits which became a most secure form of encryption as you can see here it has been changed and the strings have been changed and the overall encryption security has been changed as we discussed in the previous tutorial we will discuss about this uh, attack so they have said that for a 128 bit key there are total of 2 into 128 combinations uh, to attempt to crack the key but it requires a lot of extensive computing resources but in the case of the advanced encryption standard as they have stated the algorithm uses the 256 bit key and this is considered secure enough for most purposes so since uh, nowadays computing power is increasing and it depends upon the <coughs> key how much it is secure so it's better to use this 256 bit encryption in your applications so your application can be made secure however RSA uh, is a company <coughs> which states that if you want to uh, secure your ultra sensitive operations you should be using the 2048 bit key so your application which deals with the ultra sensitive operations will be most secure and they also stated that if you wanted more secure then you can use 4096 bit keys which is I guess these implementations will are not available yet and most of these implementations are I guess proprietary so uh, for normal applications you should go for this 256 bit key encryption this and while you are working in the C sharp you should be using this AES crypto service provider class and it will help you in encrypting your data more securely so hope so you have liked this tutorial <clears throat> for any questions please leave a comment and also you should remember that the key size should be to 56 bits which 
is equivalent to 32 random characters. These characters can be anything. Also, the IV bytes should be uh, 16 characters, which comes out to be 1 to 8 bits. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos, and also share this video with your friends so they can learn about this encryption and decryption mechanisms. Thank you guys, see you in the next tutorial.